Okay, welcome to Pix TV under General Physics 2. This is me, your host, Dr. Glenn Michael Jameson B. Piquello. Welcome to today's lesson on light and optics. This fascinating field of physics explores how light behaves and interacts with different materials. Understanding optics can explain everything from how our eyes see to how optical instruments like microscopes and cameras work. First, let's answer the question, what is light? Light is a form of energy that travels in waves. It is part of the electromagnetic spectrum and, and includes the visible light, which is what we can see as well as invisible forms such as ultraviolet and infrared light. Light travels as the, at the fastest speed possible in the universe about 299,792 kilometers per second. So light is designated C for our next topics in general in special relativity. In terms of meter per second, it can be used as 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meter per second. Okay. Let's now go to lenses and mirrors. Lenses focus light to form images, while mirrors reflect light to do the same. Let's solve a problem involving convex lens. The problem reads, calculate the image distance for an object placed 10 cm in front of a convex lens with a focal length of 5 cm. So let's use the general form of the lens formula. 1 over f is equal to 1 over d sub o plus 1 over d sub i, where f is the focal length, d sub o is the object distance, and d sub i is the image distance. We just plug in the values and solve for d sub i. So it would be 1 over 5 is equal to 1 over 10 plus 1 over d sub i. Then rearranging to solve for d sub i, 1 over d sub i is equal to 1 over 5 minus 1 over 10 is equal to 1 over 10. Then you get the reciprocal of that. It would be equal to 10 centimeters. Since it's a convex lens, it will be formed on each side of the lens. So indicate it will indicate a real and inverted image. So a convex lens looks like this at both sides. So while a concave lens will look like this. So you can use these representations if you are making a diagram for this particular set of problems. In some books, there is another representation of the lens formula. It can be written as 1 over V minus 1 over U is equal to 1 over F. F still is still the focal length. V is now pertaining to the distance of the image or the D sub I from the optical center of the lens while U is the distance of the object or the D sub O. So, nagkabalik lang kaya naging minus U. Uh, formula natin. So it's typically the same. Okay, let's now have this one. This is an image of the sign convections. I mean sign conventions for the, the different lens and lens and mirror problems. So for this one, you just have to have a copy of the sign conventions here, especially during our problem solving activities. So U pertains to the object, while V is the image, F is still the focal length. And there are more, much more complicated problems involving height of the image. For the B, F, and height of the image, there can be real or virtual 
descriptions. Okay, depending on what was written on a specific problem. Sign conventions are very important because it helps us maintain consistency throughout the problem solving activities. Okay. Reflection occurs when light bounces off a surface and it's another concept specifically for light and optics. While refraction happens when light bends as it passes through different mediums. At the left side, we can see a picture indicating the speed of light in different mediums from air, ions, and other objects here. Glass, ruby, diamond, so they have different refraction index. You can have a copy of this. For you to be able to solve other sample problems involving refraction. So let's now have a problem solving activity here. Let's read the problem. Calculate the angle of re refraction theta sub 2 when light passes from air into water with an incident angle theta sub 1 of 30 degrees. So just like our previous discussions, you can always uh, find the given or list down the given and the ask for you to get additional points or effort points for problem solving activities aside from the solutions. Okay, let's identify first the indices of refraction. For air, it's about 1.0 and for water, it's about 1.33. That's also the values from the given table at the, at the left side. Next one is use our, our Snell's law, which states that N1, or the original medium, times the sine theta sub 1 is equal to the second medium N sub 2 times the sine theta sub 2. Just plug in the given values 1.0 for the n sub 1 times sine 30 degrees is equal to 1.33 times sine theta number 2 for the unknown. Solve for theta 2. So shift sine 30 degrees divided by 1.33 that's 0 0.3756 and if you get the equivalent degree is about 22 degrees celsius you can also com compute this using your scientific calculator for you to be able to double check if you got the correct answer okay that's for refraction let's now go to the human eye it is a natural optical instrument it uses a lens to focus light on the retina, much like a camera focuses light on a film or a sensor. Changes in this focusing power can lead to vision problems such as nearsightedness or farsightedness. Just like me, I'm a nearsighted person. There are different optical instruments available for us today, such as microscopes and telescopes, which extend what we can see. For example, microscopes help us see tiny details of small objects, while telescopes let us observe distant objects in space. Both use combinations of lenses and mirrors to magnify images. What are some modern applications of optics? Optics is crucial in technology. For example, fiber optic cables use light to transmit data over long distances with incredible speed and minimal loss. Lasers, another application of optics, are used in everything from cutting and welding materials to performing delicate surgeries. And that's in the medical field. In conclusion, the study of light and optics opens up a world of understanding and technological advances. From the basics of how light travels and interacts with the complex devices that help us explore the universe and improve our lives, optics is a key part of everyday physics. Okay, that's the end of our lesson today. Just remember, the Pix TV 
panalo ang natuto. Okay, we are now at the end of our video lesson. Just like our previous video lesson, we have our own exit cards. Just write the things or conclusions about what you have learned about the topic and also what questions are you going to ask the teacher. You can post this in the comment section of our YouTube video. Laging tandaan sa Pix TV panalo ang natuto. Thank you.